Bulevinaka Fiji, namaste and a very good evening to you. Welcome to Chechemon and to your most stylish night of television right here on FBC TV. I trust you are having a great evening from wherever you are joining me from around our beautiful country. Now this week I would like to greet our viewers joining me from the Mamanu, the group of islands and the southern Yasawa Islands. Thank you for your company this evening, my Turanga and Marama Naitas and Matangali. Tonight we begin with one of the country's top models as she shows us some of her favourite pieces in her wardrobe. Famous for her style and finesse, she rose to fame and stamped her mark in Fiji's fashion industry after a successful run at the Fijian Fashion Festival. Her name is Georgia Naidu. Hi, my name is Georgia Naidu. I'm a model and team member of the Bottega Gold Fiji Fashion Festival and today I'll be showing you some of my favourite pieces in my closet. Um, so just starting here, this is one of my, um, this is like one of my favourite pieces because it looks a little vintage. Um, I picked it up at a market and I really liked it just because there's some really wacky pictures on it and yeah, pretty much, I really like wacky things. Um, I picked this up just yesterday. This is kind of like a bohemian kind of style pants. I don't really think I have a style, but I feel like my friends think I always come up a little more bohemian. Um, this is also one of like, I don't know if it's a vintage skirt. I kind of feel like it has a vintage feel to it. And I'm always like, I always love vintage things, vintage prints. So that's one of them. This is just another one of my favorite printed skirts. It's just full of colors, which is how I like it. Um, this is from Kukai, it's a really cute bralette, I just picked it up, sometimes I wear it out, um, you know, like on an evening or if I'm going to a party and sometimes I pair it up with this, uh, with the sheer, I don't know what you call it, overshirt, I think. Um, alright, coming to PIA, everybody loves PIA and I feel like everybody should have a PIA because it's just really trendy, you can put it, you can really wear it for any occasion, you can wear it out, you can wear it casual, it's, I love it, it's really great. Um, let's see, this is one of my more formal dresses, full of lace, I really really love lace. Um, and I got this, I think, I got it at a bargain at like, I think it was the bulk, so any, anything that's at a bargain is one of my favourite pieces really. Um, oh, and this is my, this is my, one of my, this is one of my only Indian pieces I own. Um, this is my sari, a little colour. Um, I wore this for my graduation because I attended an international um, kind of like a last two years of high school in India just for two years and I graduated that was in 2016 so it's obviously one of my favorite pieces um, coming around here um, anything with bright colors like sticks out to me whenever I walk into a store like my eyes just automatically go towards the brights I'm gonna be honest I always stay away from the grays the darks the blacks I'm um, sorry if those are your favorite colors or your favorite tones. Um, leotards. Anything that's a leotard and a low back, favorite. Um, print, I mean, I think anything I wear will always be printed. Like there's nothing, you'll, you'll rarely ever see me wearing anything plain. So these are just some of my favorite little graphic printed kind of tops. This one I also got from India. This is really cute. Um, I like this one um, just because it's like it's really cute. But it's also got a little tease of a back, like it's got like a little slip there. Um, yeah, that's really cute. And I kind of feel like there's a color scheme going here, so I feel like I do have a color scheme I do like. And this is one of my it's one of my favorite sweaters. It's just I just walked into I think it was um, I think it was just a secondhand store in America, and this just popped out to me. It's five dollars also. Okay. Um, and this skirt also, I picked it up from a market. Um, full of color. I feel like that's that's just that's just the way I am. It ha I always have to be full of color. Um, coming on to my accessories, I'm not a sporty person. But I only one. I only own one cap in this game. Team stock. Winter is coming. Um, this is also one of my head buffs. Full of print. Full of color. Again. Um, I used to wear this when I went bald, when I did bald for a cause in 2015, so I had to protect my head from the heat. Um, my favorite accessories, these would be, 
I, I like anything that's, I feel like I define my style, like my mood for the day with my earrings, like everything, like it's, I just really, really, really like quirky handcrafted stuff. So this is some of them. This is from Kapui Creations, I think. I always find them at the rock market. Um, these are wooden handcrafted and painted. And this is from the women's, the Rural Women's Expo from just um, a few weeks ago. Um, let's see. I think these ones as well. These are my favorites recently. Purple, because purple is my favorite color. Um, let's see. These are my new favorite ones as well. <laughs> these are my dragon earrings that I really, really love. Um, these are ha paper, paper handcrafted earrings, and I picked them up from like from this organization in India where um, they worked on empowering women by like creating jewelry. And then these are also my little really cute teacups. I've actually put tea in them once and tried to sip from it. It doesn't, it it doesn't give you much. So it's a random experiment. And then onto my shoes. Um, these are my runway heels. Um, I really love my heels. They're a little dirty now because I've just <laughs> I've just finished a festival. Um, I don't know. I just feel like these are just the shoes I always have to walk in. There's not there's no other shoes I can walk in. Um, and these are my boots. I like anything with a heel. So boots that come with a heel. I mean. And then onto my last shoe. Converse is a must-have. I always must have Converse. Mine now are really like worn and torn, but I like them that way. I feel like whenever I get a new pair of Converse, I always have to just kind of like wear it around for a bit until it gets a bit scruffy because I feel like that kind of puts an edge to it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching and these are some of the pieces from in my closet. Thank you. Top model Georgia Naidu starring in our monthly feature in the closet and showing us some of her favorite pieces of clothing, footwear and accessories. Georgia drummed up interest with international model scouts in New York and Australia and we look forward to seeing her strutting the catwalks again at Style Fiji in December. Good job Georgia. Right, time for a short break. Up next, it's highlights from the 2018 Miss South Africa pageant plus the pink section of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. That's next right here on Chechemon.